Farmers who have made their dicamba purchases for the 2020 growing season are allowed to spray this year. The Environmental Protection Agency says growers and commercial applicators can use existing stocks of the herbicide in the wake of the U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals decision to vacate the registrations of three dicamba herbicides. So for growers that have um, or are still hoping to plant dicamba tolerant soybeans, um, if either yourself or the ag retailer that you use has one of these three herbicides in stock, they could spray it according to the label on those soybeans up until the 31st of July. However, if um, it's not in stock and has not been purchased, they're not able to continue to purchase it. The companies have all issued stop sale orders, so they wouldn't be able to purchase it anyways. Um, but if it's in stock, they can still use it through the end of July. So Bayer, BASF, and Corteva are the companies that own the three herbicides. They have issued statements saying they will continue to support the herbicides. Um, the registrations for all of them were due to expire the end of this year, so they were under review by EPA, and the companies have said that they hope to still get a new registration for them so that farmers can use them in 2021, but that's something we'll have to wait and see on um, how, how that moves forward. Um, one other thing is that the, the decision by the court did not impact uh, Syngenta's Tavium, which is the fourth dicamba herbicide. So that is not impacted at all by the decision that can still be used, um, still be purchased because that herbicide was not mentioned in the court case. And that part of that is because that registration um, is done at a different time because it's a newer herbicide than the other. That's the, the challenging part is that if they don't have it in stock and they have um, dicamba tolerant soybeans in the ground, unfortunately, they can't use one of those three herbicides. It's frustrating. Um, farmers have in invested a lot of money into the technology. Um, they've invested, you know, a lot, a lot into it, and to not be able to use it is incredibly frustrating. Um, while I think the EPA's um, decision was about as positive as it could be, it's something that we wish farmers would not have to be put into these situations by a court. Um, it's tough when it's a court that makes the decision and it's the regulatory agencies, um, their hands are unfortunately tied by what the court decided. Farmers do have other herbicide options, and Sisung suggests contacting MSU field crops specialists and ag retailers to help determine the best option for your fields.